by the routines from Kiev, the capital of Ukraine. My name is Viktor Rusov, and today July 21st, 2019. And today I'm very pleased to show you my zoo of different insects who are just sitting here in this dish, this yellow dish. And we will talk about their behavior because all these animals were belonging to beetles. And if you know insects a little bit, Okay, you have recognized probably that these are larvae of insects and these are beetles, adult beetles, big one and small one and actually larvae, they are also beetles. Yes, indeed, these larvae, they are not worms, they are not worms, they are not so disgusting worms as you say, they are very funny because they are bred by many entomologists and by many insect producers because these are the Phobos atratus super mealworm. Yes, adults, black one and larvae. A lot of them here, 50 of larvae of a last stage. And by the way, and we have also a rhino beetle. This is a big one, right? Rhino beetle or Rictus nasicornis in the Latin language scientific name. And Zaphobos Morio, Zaphobos Atratus, the new name of this super meal worm. So the size is different. So larva is about 5 centimeters and 5.5 centimeters. Beetles about 2 centimeters. And big one, you see the biggest, this is Orictus nasicornis. And who are the most dangerous of them? Difficult to say, usually they are not dangerous at all, not all of them, they are not biting, they are not stinging. If you take in your hands Orictus nasicornis like this one, he is absolutely not dangerous, absolutely not dangerous, very quiet and sometimes very lazy, very difficult to be wounded with this lovely beetle. But if you take in your hands this beetle, this beetle will try to protect himself or herself because here we have these are two females and this is a female and one more male somewhere here. Females because I see on the head and this is a male and what happens if I take it occasionally? If we will try to touch it, no, 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 nothing, but another one, usually we try to protect and we will make kind of a special liquid, we will produce milky liquid on a literus for protection. Now we are lazy, don't. but still I am producing a little bit smell because we use special lungs on the top of abdomen from here. We smell very badly and this smell is protective against birds, against predators and the milky secret. No, no, give me a secret. Give me a secret doesn't want to give a secret. No. No, because we are not worried too much about the situation. If you take it just abruptly, we will produce secret. Give a secret. Give a secret. Come. Knock knock. Knock knock. No, it doesn't want. So anyway, just I will show you a secret next time. So, but we still produce this smell. Now they're smelling slightly. Okay. You see, Orictus arena beetle is just walking around. Absolutely not aggressive, not aggressive because it has no sharp mandibular mandibula. Yes, only just very simple apparatus so and usually doesn't eat 
or maybe eat something like a rotating banana. But all this and almost another Laurian beetles were slightly predaceous. Whereby the way we fight of ogres, we will eat wood, we will eat vegetables. If you put here some vegetables or piece of really here sausage, we will eat it. So we can be from one side phytophagus, you see, eating very voraciously. Yeah, with hunger, eating this piece of vegetable, this pepper. But if you don't give them food, they become absolutely predaceous. We will hunt on each other. So we're becoming very much voracious. We will kill each other. This feature of cannibalism, killing each other, will be just because of hunger. Larry will eat another larry, more weak, weaker larry, or not so moving very quickly, who just will be nearby. One larva will eat another larva. That's why it's very important to give them a food. Otherwise, in this too much overpopulated dish, we will damage each other, we will be wounded, and definitely we will die because of wounds. Now they just became very quiet. At least we ate a little bit some of this pepper. We ate the sausage as well. But if you keep it one, two days, we definitely will hunt on each other. So far, you see, most voracious. I would say larvae, because they are very active. But if you keep adults, these lovely black beetles, they can be also hungry if you don't give them food at all. Adults will eat another adults, despite they are so nice and also very hard elytras and very hard structure of their body. No, 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 they will cut antenna on other animal on other specimens of beetles on other adults we will cut legs and eat it and even we can cut elytra on other animals like see here right side trying to attack left side left one and difficult to see yeah this is kind of communication but if we were fed we got food enough we have usually this uh, funny behavior, so we are making kind of aggregation. Even female, we communicate with another female. But here we have, ah, oh, right, right here, we have a, on the top this is a male. On the top this is a male, and left and under this is a fem female. So we have definitely behavior we want to mate. But nevertheless, if we are just of one sex, we are still making aggregation all together in a big groups. How many you have, so we will aggregate from time to time just for communication and then we'll spread in your box searching for food, laying eggs after mating and then making aggregations again. Yeah, yeah, you see. Rena beetle is walking around searching how to escape from this plate. And absolutely not dangerous, absolutely not aggressive, and absolutely not smelling at all. The most funny beetle, the funniest and the quietest, and much easier to play with him if you like beetles. You can touch it, touch it like that, and enjoy this lovely beetle. Otherwise, this beetle we can smell. Okay, you can watch them, but they are smelly. If you don't afraid about smell, this big one, this one, they are smelly, and now it's a little bit smelly, smelly plate as well. So that's a short story about behavior of these beetles, of this larvae, and from certain period of time, 
this larvae will pupate and I show you pupa this pupa have very funny structure we have very funny shape these are pupa I can see. so we have horns on body segmented body now it's visible small pieces with a future legs future tarsi future head mandibula black color colorated future eyes inside this funny pupa and this is process of metamorphosis when larva becoming pupa take off skin this is a piece of skin black one this is old skin of larva one two three four four skins of larva just a shell just shell of larvae and these are very funny nice white colored pupa they will darken in slowly so you can recognize later eyes and after maybe one two days after this position we will hatch will appear beetle a beetle usually has a reddish reddish or brownish color and very soft and it needs maybe two or three days to harden his or her elytras and body because of heating is very soft and becoming hardening after several days a pupa with special horns on the body you see here small special appendages on this and this side this side and this side horns was very very important for protection because they can move and push one to one another you see you see moving moving and pushing another pupa off or if it will be larva coming to the hole with this pupa they will also move and will protect themselves from the situation when we can be eaten so we want to be eaten we want to alive to be alive and pupate hatch hatch normally yeah you see here these are tarsi here tarsi here with small horns these are mandibula mandibula and these are eyes like darkening eyes and we move very easily and this is a just shell of larva. Okay, that's a short story about pupa. So we can come very soon. I will show you very young beetles later. And today I was very pleased to show you these funny larvae, these beetles, and this nice rhinoceros beetle as well in our zoo. So this was a zoo of beetles on our screen and in our TV program this was a story of Viktor Fursov entomologist beekeeper teacher and if you liked to watch new stories press likes write your comments and visit Patreon to make some donations if you like welcome to Patreon as well and I will create more stories about insects in English, in Russian, so if you like, write about your preferences under this video. In English will be wider spread all around the world for different viewers in other countries who can speak English. And by the way, it's easy to understand who is who, otherwise Russian-speaking audience cannot speak sometimes English as well, but English cannot speak Russian. So, thank you for watching, bye bye, see you soon on my channel. Best greetings from rhinoceros, from this lovely queen, lovely beetle, bye bye.